Hey, welcome to this week's episode of Topical English Vocabulary with me, Teacher Tiffany. I am excited about this episode because I am going to teach you five English vocabulary words you need to know in order to speak English fluently and confidently about human rights. Are you ready to learn? Well then, I'm Teacher Tiffany. Let's jump right in. All right, so as an English learner, there are going to be many things that you must improve. One of them is your vocabulary. So today I want to start with our very first word. And remember, the topic is human rights. Our very first word, and I want you to repeat after me, the word is discrimination. Good. Again, after me discrimination. Excellent. Now this word discrimination, again, remember we are speaking about human rights. What does the word discrimination mean? Because native English speakers use this word on a regular basis. So the word discrimination, it just means the unjust or prejudicial treatment of different categories of people or things, especially on the grounds of race, age, or sex. So let me break this down for you. Discrimination just refers to treating someone improperly because of the color of their skin or because of their sex, whether they are female or male. It's when you don't treat someone fairly because of your own view of their race or their sex or even their age. This is what we call discrimination. So if someone were to look at me, I'm an African American woman, a proud black woman. But if someone were to look at me and say, oh, she's black, so we can't trust her or, oh, she's black. So ugh, I don't think we want her to be our English teacher. This would be an example of, you got it. Discrimination makes sense, right? Okay. Now I want us to look at three example sentences. Okay. Using this word discrimination. Now the very first sentence we are going to look at is this one. So I want you to listen closely. Here we go. The organization fights against discrimination in all its forms. One more time. The organization fights against discrimination in all its forms. You got it. They don't want people to discriminate against others. So the organization fights against discrimination. All right, let's move on to sentence number two, the second sentence for the word discrimination. Here's the sentence. She filed a lawsuit against her employer for gender discrimination, gender discrimination. Now this term gender, it's just referring to the fact that she was a female. All right. Gender is male or female. All right. Gender. So once again, after me, I want you to listen closely to make sure you understand how this word is being used. She filed a lawsuit against her employer for gender discrimination. You got it. Excellent. All right. Let's move on to the third example sentence. Here we go. The third example sentence. The government implemented new policies to address racial discrimination. Once again, the government implemented new policies to address racial discrimination. You got it. Excellent. So again, number one after me, discrimination. Great job. Now, remember, we're speaking about the topic of human rights. All right. The rights that people have to do a certain thing. Now, I want to make sure you understand that topic as well. 
as human beings, whether we are females or males, we have certain rights, certain uh, things that we are due or things that we should definitely be entitled to human rights. All right, let's move on to vocabulary word number two, vocabulary word number two. And our second vocabulary word after me is oppression. Good. Again, oppression. Excellent. Now, the question is, what does this word oppression actually mean? Now, remember, we're talking about human rights. So the word oppression, it means prolong or extend. So prolonged, cruel or unjust treatment or control. An extended period of time where an individual group of people are being treated unfairly, unkindly, or being controlled against their will. We call that oppression. So for example, I mentioned earlier that I am an African American woman. I am a black woman. And I think you are familiar with the history of the United States of America. Several years ago, well over a hundred years ago, slavery was a big deal in America. And my people, African Americans, they came over as Africans right from Africa, were enslaved. They were oppressed. They were controlled. They were forced to do things against their will. This is called oppression. Once again, prolonged, an extended period of time of cruel, unkind, or unjust treatment. Make sense? You got it. All right. So here's the first example sentence. The citizens protested against the political oppression they were experiencing. Once again, the citizens protested against the political oppression they were experiencing. They were being controlled by the government. They were being treated cruelly. They did not like what was happening in the political realm. It wasn't give them, giving them freedom of speech. So once again, the citizens protested against the political oppression they were experiencing. Here's the second example sentence. The book tells the story of the struggle against oppression. Once again, the book tells the story of the struggle against oppression. We're trying to fight against this. We don't think it's right. We shouldn't be controlled. And the book speaks about that topic. You got it? Excellent. All right. Here's the third example sentence. The film sheds light on the history of oppression in that country. Once again, the film shed light on the history of oppression in that country. The book talks about the oppression that the people in that country went through, what they felt and how they overcame that oppression. All right. So once again, number two, after me, oppression. Excellent. All right. Now let's move on to the third vocabulary word. And again, we're learning vocabulary words related to a topic, topical English vocabulary. Now I do want to remind you that the words I am teaching you right now, they're actually the words that I sent out via email totally for free in my email newsletter. If you want to join the newsletter and every day, excluding Saturday, receive an email totally for free with five new English vocabulary words every day to improve your English vocabulary. All you have to do is go to www.dailyenglishvocabulary.com. Yes, it's very simple. Again, www.dailyenglishvocabulary.com. Go to that link and you can enter your email address and every day, excluding Saturday, I will send you an email totally for free teaching you new English vocabulary words. Again, the ones I'm teaching you right now were sent out to thousands of students via email. All right. So let's continue. We're going on to the third English vocabulary word related to the topic of human justice. All right. I'm excuse me, human rights. Here's the word after me. 
injustice. Good. That's why I said justice. You got it, right? So again, after me, injustice. Excellent. All right. So what does this word injustice actually mean? All right. So again, remember these words are related to the topic of human rights, which means no matter what conversation you're in, if the topic of human rights pops up, no matter who you're with, you'll be able to speak about it with confidence and fluently in English. So the word injustice, it just means lack of fairness or justice. All right. Justice means everyone being treated fairly, right? Going according to the law, right? Determining right and wrong. Injustice means, Hey, this group of people, these individuals are not being treated justly or fairly. Once again, it means a lack of fairness or justice. You got it? Excellent. All right. So let's check out some example sentences using this word. The very first example sentence, here it is. The lawyer fought for justice in the face of great injustice. The lawyer fought for justice. It means the lawyer saw, Hey, people are being treated unfairly. I want to make sure I fight against injustice. I want everyone to be treated fairly. So once again, the sentence, the lawyer fought for justice in the face of great injustice. The lawyer was seeing in the face of being presented with or standing in front of, or being in the environment of injustice. The lawyer said, no, I am going to fight for justice. You got it. Excellent. All right. Let's move on to the second example sentence. Here we go. The documentary exposes or reveals the injustices faced by marginalized communities. Once again, the documentary exposes the injustices faced by marginalized communities. The documentary took the time to show and reveal all of the unfair treatment that people were experiencing. These communities, marginalized minorities, individuals that have been separated. The documentary shined a light, exposed, revealed the injustices. You got it. Excellent. All right. Here's the third example sentence. The organization advocates for the rights of those who have suffered injustice. You got it again. One more time. The organization advocates for the rights of those who have suffered injustice. This organization focuses on, Hey, we want to help those who have experienced unfair treatment, who have experienced injustice. You got it. Excellent. So again, one more time after me, the third vocabulary word about human rights is injustice. Good job. All right. Now we're going to move on to our fourth word. So far we've had three words. All right. The first one was yes. Good memory. Discrimination. The second one. Excellent oppression. And I hope you're taking notes as we go over these words. And the third one we just went over. Yes. Injustice. All right. Now our fourth vocabulary word about the topic of human rights. The fourth vocabulary word is after me censorship. Good. Again, after me censorship. Excellent. Now what does this word actually mean censorship. And again, I want you to be taking notes along with me. All right. As we're going through this lesson. All right. Censorship. It means the suppression or prohibition of any parts of books, films, news, etc., that are considered obscene, politically unacceptable or a threat to security. Now that's the dictionary definition. All right. Let me break it down even more. Once again, we're talking about the word censorship. 
So I want you to imagine maybe that you wrote a book or that a movie was produced, right? Something that is presented to the public. However, the words that were used, the visuals, the graphics, the images are not acceptable. So they are actually going to be prohibited. They're going to be excluded. Someone, a government entity or someone in power is going to tell you, Hey, no, this cannot be shown. This is what censorship is. Again, something that is being stopped from being shown or read or presented to the public. Why? Because it's obscene, right? Maybe it's lewd. It's too sexual. It's politically unacceptable or a threat to security. In English, we say censorship. You got it? Excellent. All right. Let's move on to the first example sentence. The very first example sentence is the regime imposed strict censorship on the media. They imposed strict censorship saying, Hey, you cannot show that or Hey, this is okay, but that's not. So once again, the regime imposed strict censorship on the media. You got it. Excellent. All right. The second example sentence, artists and writers faced censorship for their work. Again, artists and writers faced censorship for their work. They weren't allowed to draw what they wanted. They weren't allowed to write what they wanted. The government stopped them. They faced censorship. You got it? Excellent. All right. Here's the third example sentence for the word censorship. The documentary explores the effects of censorship on the freedom of expression. Once again, the documentary explores the effects of censorship on freedom of expression. You got it. Excellent. So once again, the fourth word after me, censorship. Excellent. All right. So, so far we have four words related to the topic of human rights. The first word discrimination. Good. The second word oppression. Excellent. The third word injustice. Very good. And the fourth word, excellent censorship. Very good. All right. Now let's move to the fifth vocabulary word on the topic of human rights. The fifth vocabulary word after me is humanitarian. Excellent. Again, humanitarian. Great job. Now, what does this word humanitarian actually mean? So let's go over the definition humanitarian. It just means concerned with or seeking to promote human welfare concerned with, or seeking to promote human welfare. Someone who is focused on the good of others, someone who is focused on removing injustices, fighting against injustices, making sure that all people receive fair treatment. This individual is called a humanitarian. All right. So we say humanitarian. All right. Now this is something that is an adjective, right? But Hey, I can see qualities of humanitarianism in that person. Okay. So let's look at some example sentences. Here we go. The very first one, the organization provides humanitarian aid to those affected by natural disasters. Again, the organization provides humanitarian aid to those affected by natural disasters. All right, let's move on to the second example sentence. The doctor dedicated her career to what? Humanitarian work in developing countries. Once again, the doctor dedicated her career to humanitarian, humanitarian work in developing countries. And finally, 
the international community must prioritize humanitarian efforts to alleviate suffering. Last time, the international community must prioritize humanitarian efforts to alleviate suffering. You got it? Excellent. So once again, number five after me, humanitarian. Good job. So once again, we've had five English vocabulary words related to the topic of human rights. The very first one after me, discrimination. Good. Second, oppression. Good. Third, injustice. Excellent. Fourth, censorship. Good. And fifth, humanitarian. Excellent. All right. Now what we are going to do is you're going to hear me. If you're listening to this via the podcast, you're going to hear me read a paragraph that includes the five words we just spoke about. You're going to hear how they're used in context. So pay attention. Here we go. In today's world, It is crucial to shed light on the prevalent issue of discrimination and the dire consequences it brings. The struggle against oppression and the fight for justice are at the forefront of the battle against social injustice. However, we must also address the insidious impact of censorship, which stifles freedom of expression and limits our ability to expose and confront these issues. In these times, it is imperative to embrace a humanitarian approach, seeking to promote human welfare and ensure the protection of fundamental rights for all. By acknowledging the existence of discrimination, oppression, injustice, censorship, and the need for humanitarian efforts, we can work towards a more equitable and inclusive society. Now, I, in my opinion, I can say that was a great paragraph. But I want you to see that each word we learned was included in that paragraph. Did you hear it? Excellent. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Topical English Vocabulary. These vocabulary words will help you speak English fluently like a native English speaker about the topic of human rights. I will talk to you next time. But until then, remember to speak English.